He was a CTO for Intel's data center group, dealing a lot with hardware and the low-level components. So it's given me sort of, I think, a good insight how large data centers work. The vast majority of models that are being used today are transformer models, right? That's, that was mm -hmm. the transformer architecture. Huge breakthrough in AI. They've proven to be incredibly versatile. They're easier to train because they parallelize a little bit better than previous models. How much does it cost to train a model depends on a myriad of factors. You have to spend a large chunk of your, your funding just on compute capacity. Let's take, uh, say, an A100, right? Uh, the most commonly used card. We know how many floating point operations it can do per second. We can divide that. That sort of gives us an order of magnitude estimation. And then we know how much one of these cards costs, like uh, renting an, an A100 costs you between one and four dollars probably. And you end up with something in the order of half a million dollars.